Arthroscopic partial meniscectomy is the most common orthopedic procedure. In the USA alone, there are over 700,000 surgeries done annually aiming to relieve the symptoms attributed to meniscal tear. Fidelity trial assessed the impact of arthroscopic partial meniscectomy via a double-blind design. We enrolled patients 35 to 65 years of age who had knee pain unresponsive to conventional conservative treatment and had clinical symptoms consistent with a tear of the medial meniscus. After a thorough clinical examination, the presence of a degenerative meniscal tear was confirmed using MRI. Arthroscopic examination of the knee was first performed in all patients. During the diagnostic arthroscopic procedure, if a patient was confirmed to be eligible for the trial, the surgeon asked a research nurse to open an envelope containing the study group assignment, arthroscopic partial meniscectomy or sham surgery, and reveal it to the surgeon. Only the orthopedic surgeon and other staff in the operating room were made aware of the group assignment, and they did not participate in further treatment or follow-up of the patient. The assignment was not revealed to the patient. Overall, 205 patients were eligible for the study, of which 160 underwent the diagnostic knee arthroscopy. In the end, 146 patients were randomized, 70 were assigned for arthroscopic partial meniscectomy, assessed at the 12-month follow-up visit and included in the analysis. 76 were assigned to sham surgery, assessed at the 12-month follow-up visit and included in the analysis. The results showed something that we already knew. APM proved very effective. In, the, in our three primary outcomes, knee pain and two functional scores, APM showed a dramatic positive response. However, what we didn't know before the Fidelity trial was that APM was no better than sham surgery. The results were published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Media grabbed the surprising results by storm. Doctors now say surgery might not be necessary for some patients. People could be wasting their time and money on a common type of knee surgery. Right. This happened in Finland, about 150 people, five different hospitals. While the media was loving the story, the peers were not so thrilled. Arthroscopy, one of the most prestigious journals in the field, published five critical pieces on fidelity. The critique was strange for an academic journal. For example, fidelity was named misleading and deceptive. The editor-in-chief of the journal even stated that patients who may not be of entirely sound mind are selected as research subjects and continued that research performed on such individuals would not be generalizable to mentally healthy patients. Fidelity had to explain and elaborate on obvious misconceptions that critics had. In the end, the question was, should we abandon ship, as in move away from arthroscopic partial meniscectomy? In a recent editorial in the British Medical Journal, one of the leading medical journals, Professor Andrew Carr, one of the world-renowned orthopedic surgeons and placebo researchers, argued that orthopedic surgery for degenerative knee is overused, ineffective, and potentially harmful. He concluded by stating, We may be close to a tipping point where the weight of evidence against arthroscopic knee surgery for pain is enough to overcome concerns about the quality of the studies, confirmation bias, and vested interests. When that point is reached, we should anticipate a swift reversal of established practice. A very recent editorial in the Acta Orthopedica took an even more strict stance on this issue. Available evidence now supports the reversal of this common practice. Arthroscopic surgery for the painful knee of the middle-aged and older patients. I think it's time to abandon ship.